Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I want to reorganize my kitchen. Now, as some of you can see, the kitchen is completely renovated now, but at the time of putting everything into the new kitchen, Ryan and I had been so busy with work that I didn't have time to properly organize it exactly how I wanted to. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today, pulling everything out and just reorganizing it exactly how I had always imagined. But of course, I first need a snack to get me through a busy morning of organizing. The first thing I wanted to organize is under the sink and I want to keep under here as clear as possible. I do not want it to build up with clutter. So I'm just going to keep in there the things that I use often and anything that I've found in there that I'm not going to be using, I'll put into the large cupboard in the laundry. Okay, so here we have all of the things I want to keep under the sink. This tray I just got from like the dollar store. And this here is like a little utensil holder I purchased from Ikea. It's meant for like your drying rack because it has a little strainer at the bottom. So it's perfect for me for sponges. Before we had a dishwasher, I used it as our holder after I would wash, you know, the knives and forks and cutlery. But since now we have a dishwasher, I'm just using it to hold all of my sponges, which actually works out really well. So in here, we just have, this is my multi-purpose kitchen cleaner. This is from the brand Koala Eco. I absolutely love it. So I'm getting low on that. And that just reminded me, another thing I like to do when pretty much organizing any space in the house is to have a list next to me. That way I can slowly fill out the things that I need. So I need a little more multi-purpose cleaner, so I'll pop it in there. I've already got foil on there because we went to use foil last night and we'd run out. So it's just super handy having a list with you when you're organizing anything. This one I just got from Kmart and it has a magnet on the back. So we just keep it on the fridge and if we've ever run out of toothpaste or anything, we just go and pop it on the list. So I find these really, really handy. So like I said, we have the multi-purpose cleaner. The other thing we have is this air wick. It's just like a room spray. It's really nice and light and it's got like a fruity sort of scent. I absolutely love it. And whenever I finish cleaning the kitchen, I either use this or I have been doing a lot lately, filling up the sink with boiling hot water and dropping in a cap or two capfuls of Zoflora. The steam that comes from the hot water makes the whole room smell really nice and just really clean. So these are the scents that I have. They now sell them at Woolworths. I use it for a lot of things. I put a capful in my floor cleaner just to make the house smell really nice. And yeah, I just use it all the time. This one here is my absolute favorite scent, the mandarin and lime. It's really fresh and perfect for spring. So they are my Zofloras and it really will depend on the day. Like the other day it was quite rainy um, and just I didn't feel like this scent was the vibe for the house. So I use the Midnight Blooms and yeah, it's just fun to have a different scent depending on how you feel on the day. The next thing I have are these finish. These are just the dishwasher tablets. So I use those and just keep them in there. I also have this rinse aid for the dishwasher. This is Koala Eco dish soap. And again, I'm getting very low on dish soap. We don't use it as much anymore now that we have the dishwasher, but it is always nice to have on hand when I'm cleaning up pots and pans. We also have cockroach spray. Obviously we get our house sprayed and everything, but we do live in Australia and I think bugs are just a part of our life. <laughs> so we have that. We really don't try to use it we try not to use it as much as possible because there's nothing worse than watching an insect die a slow death from this. Um, Ryan or I will actually try and catch it and put it outside, but yeah, there are times where we have to use it. These are just some gloves. I bought these when we didn't have a dishwasher again um, because I used to use them all the time, but I just had another packet left. So I thought they might be handy um, down the track. These are my all time favorite sponges. I've tried microfiber cloths. I've tried pretty much every sponge under the sun. And I grew up with these, like my parents always use them and they just feel to me the cleanest, the most useful. And yeah, these sponges are my absolute favorite. 
So that is everything I am keeping under the sink. There were a couple of other things under the sink, like glass cleaner and stuff, but I'm not going to keep that under there. And that is going to go in the laundry with the rest of the other cleaning products. Also guys, look how cute my scrub daddy is. This one I got from Woolworths and it was part of like a, uh, I don't know what it was called, but some kind of range that was meant to look a little more aesthetic. And yeah, I absolutely love it. I only ever use the scrubbing side of the original ones anyway. So this one works really well for me and it's quite discreet. And this little holder here is from one of my Instagram friends, Laura. She sent it to me and it is so cute and so handy. Um, thanks again, Laura. That is the cutest thing. So yeah, that's where my little scrub daddy sits. How cute is it? It's time to organize the six large drawers in the island bench. As you can see, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just making sure everything's neat and tidy. I'm making sure all containers have their matching lids. Same with the pots and pans and all of our takeaway cups. cupboard above the kettle and the toaster I'm just putting all of our tea and coffee the medicine box and anything else we don't use as often right on the top shelf okay so now it's time for the fun part it's time to organize the pantry and this is where a lot of organizational thinking is going to come into play so over the past probably few weeks I've just been as I've been going around the house I've been putting aside things or when I've been at the shops I've been looking out for storage solutions. And I've got a few here. Now, these are the Makona jars from our instant coffee. I have so many of these. I never, I don't think I've ever thrown one out. So years and years of coffee drinking, I have a cupboard full of Makona jars. Now, I had a quick look at the cupboard before and I only probably need, I've already got some in use, but I only needed about five more in a range of different sizes. So. I went to my stash of jars, pulled them out, and I just need to give them all a quick clean, remove all the labels, and they'll be perfect for storage because they are airtight. And I have a bunch of labels from Kmart that I'll be using if I can. I also came across this the other day. I bought this at Kmart because I thought it was so beautiful. It's like a lemon kind of ceramic container with a bamboo lid. So I thought that was really cute, and I'm, I don't know if I'll find a use for it, but I'll do my best. And the other day I was at the shops and when I was looking at pantry organization inspo, I saw that people use black baskets like this, like wire baskets for their onions and potatoes. And I absolutely love the look of it. And I'm pretty sure three of them can sit side by side on one shelf. So I might use those for onions, potatoes, and I don't know, one other thing. Um, so yeah. The inspo that I kind of found was just very minimalist glass and then these black kind of accents and some wood. So I'm just going to play around with it. Who knows if I don't use any of these other ones because they ruin the vibe, then I'll just put them aside and I'm sure I can use them in the laundry or somewhere else. So yeah, I'll put on a time lapse and just get straight into organizing this pantry.
the guys, so I'll just run through it. So the appliances we don't often use, I have stacked at the bottom there. We've got onions, potatoes, and a bread basket, along with um, baking supplies. So in here, we've obviously got all the jars with all of their uh, oats and mueslis and couscous and rice. And the other thing is, the jars are quite easy to slide around and see what you need. Just because they're all stacked behind each other doesn't mean that you can't see them. I've had them like this for a while and it's been fine with like usability. So in here I've got things like quick oats, nuts, snacks, dates, just anything kind of in the snack department. And then also here I've just got some popcorn. Then as you come to eye level for me, um, we've got things that we use really often when we're cooking. And I've put it on this nice little round wooden um, serving board because I used to have in my old kitchen that was out next to the oven but I'm trying to kind of keep all the clutter in the cupboards in this sort of new kitchen then we've got you know pastas and chips and stuff and then all of our cans so obviously when I do a shop and I get some tuna and everything they will all stack in there and then up top I've got all of our spices and then obviously all of our sauces so yeah i'm really happy with that and then right up the top there is another sort of shelf free so i think i'm just going to leave that free and then as time goes on i might need to use it guys can we just appreciate how satisfying this is i reorganized the fridge the other day obviously we've been doing hello fresh and these are any of the hello fresh meals that are kind of left over so they're all in containers ready to go so i might have one of these for lunch and then all of these drinks as the weather gets warmer i find personally i snack less especially when i'm working from home when i have um soda water and cans of drink on hand now i get these ones generally or the mount franklin ones so these ones have it's just soda water with um, a little bit of natural flavor so there's no artificial sugar no fake sugar nothing like that so and then obviously some kombuchas as well um but yeah that is my fridge organization so there you have it guys that is my new kitchen and how i've organized it i feel like going through everything is a really good chance to throw out anything that's out of date and also make note of anything that you need so i was looking at all of my spice jars and i thought that's what i need i need a nice spice rack so you're probably looking at that going oh my gosh shannon like organization 101 have matching spice jars so I've added that to my list of things to get and this afternoon as I was going through obviously everything I was making note of things like onions and everything that I'm sure of so I'm gonna go to the shops this afternoon and do a bit of a grocery shop anyway guys I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or night depending on what time it is and I'll see you in my next video thanks guys